We are continuing on videos. We're looking at uh, working with Debian packages. And so now let's say that you have your system set up how you like it, but you want to do an install on a new machine, or for some reason you're going to reinstall this machine, and you want to make a backup list of all your installed packages. Because on Linux, it's very easy to install whatever packages you need using your package manager, whether you use apt, apt-get, or just aptitude. Um, but if you have a lot of packages installed, sometimes you, you, you get a new system, you're like, oh, you go to use something, you're like, oh, I didn't install that and got installed. Or you're trying to remember what you installed. So you just want to make a backup list of all the packages you have installed. So when you set up your new system, you can just say, install all these packages. It's very simple to do. And so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, last time we used dpkg and the dash dash uh, get selections to get a list of all installed and deinstalled packages. We're not going to want our deinstalled packages, so let's run this through grep again with a dash v deinstall, and that should give us just the packages that are installed on our system. So let's go ahead and put those into a file using a greater than symbol, so we're going to redirect it. We'll just call it packages.list. You can call it whatever you want. So you made that list, back it up, put it on a flash drive online somewhere that you can grab it after when you do your new system. So when you get to your new system, you're going to want to install uh, this package. So you're going to run apt or apt-get or apt-2, whichever one you use. Install deselect. And of course, you want to do that with sudo. I already have that installed. Let me go ahead and clear my screen here. Now, there's a few different ways that you can uh, load those that list of packages and then install them. But you can do it all in one command if you use aptitude. So if you don't have aptitude installed, install aptitude. Um, I'm going to say aptitude install, and of course you do this with sudo or as root. And then we're going to say dollar sign parentheses. So this is going to run a command and basically put the command uh, in place of this spot here. So basically we want to display our list. So we're going to say cat packages. So that cats it out. But if you remember, if we were to, let me split my screen here real quick. Whoops. And if I was to cat packages you'll see that it has a list of packages, but it also has this, every line says install over here. So what we want to do is we want to remove that. So we're going to do is pipe this into awk, and then we're going to say uh, inside single quotes and inside curly brace, we're going to say print dollar sign one. And actually if I do that down here, awk print dollar sign one, that's saying print just the first column. So you don't get that, that column that says install. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this, and when I do that, it's going to tell me all these packages are installed because I'm on the system I just made that list on. But just to show you that it works, I'm going to uh, sudo aptitude remove zip. So I'll just remove a package. I'll uninstall it. Okay, so that's uninstalled. So now if I was to run this command again, so it's sudo aptitude, and if you don't have aptitude installed, you can use apt or apt-get to install it. Um, install, and I guess you, you could probably use apt as well. We'll try that in a second. Uh, it should work, because all we're doing is creating a list right here of things to install. So I'll run that, and this time, it's gonna say that it's installing zip. And so now zip is installed. So let me go ahead and uninstall it again. Uh, remove zip, yes. So I installed it. So again, if I cut out packages, you can see a list, you know, the 4,065 packages I have installed on this system, uh, in, including the zip, which I just uninstalled. So let's go ahead and run this command again, but let's just do it with apt. This should work. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah, it works. Uh, it asks, uh, in this case, it said, do you want to continue? I press yes. If you do a dash Y at the end of this, so let me just go through this again. I'll remove zip again. So I'm uninstalling, installing, uninstalling, installing zip, just as an example. Um, but I'm going to dash Y. And this time it should run through without asking me anything. There we go. So it downloaded and installed zip. So that is how you create a backup of your list. So again, to review over what we did, we'll do dpkg. So we're doing dpkg dash dash get dash selections. And then I'm doing da uh, piping that into grep to remove any line of the deinstalled packages. And I'm just putting those into a plain text file. Save that somewhere. Go to your new system. On your new system, uh, do sudo apt install deselect. OK. 
because apparently that needs to be installed to do this if you don't have it installed already. And then what we can do here is run on your new system, copy over that list and then say sudo apt install and then inside dollar sign braces you're going to say cat out this list, remove that second column and install it. Pretty simple, it's you know three commands to back up a list and reinstall every program, every package you have on your system as long as you're using uh, you know the rep same repositories on both systems and you use repositories to install stuff. Again, this is a Debian based system, so Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, and a barrage of other uh, distributions. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, uh, I ask that you visit there. You can search through the videos from both my channels there. You can also find the support section or look in the description of this video uh, for supporting over on Patreon or PayPal. And I just hope that you have a great day.